On the afternoon of Tuesday, September 13, 2022, Ambulance 734 was dispatched to the health room of an elementary school for a young child who had fallen while playing on the monkey bars. Firefighters Fasold and Orner entered the health room and found a young pediatric patient who appeared to be in distress and complaining of neck pain, along with trouble speaking and swallowing. The crews noted that the patient had an excess of saliva and appeared to have difficulty swallowing. The crew was concerned about trauma to the patient's throat involving his esophagus and possibly his trachea. The decision was made to call for advanced life support to the scene and package the patient for transport to Suburban Children's Hospital. Upon the arrival of paramedic engine 722, firefighter paramedic Reckon began to assess the patient and found the patient to be alert and oriented, but unable to answer some questions due to the difficulty he was having with speaking. The patient was still unable to swallow the excess saliva and this was beginning to cause respiratory issues. Further examination of the patient revealed an abrasion to the lower lip, swelling and a large hematoma to the left side of the patient's neck, as well as a puncture wound to the right side of the patient's neck with air bubbles present. An occlusive dressing was placed over the puncture wound and monitored for any uncontrolled bleeding. The crew was unable to place a cervical collar but recognized the need to stabilize the patient's cervical spine, so they used a towel roll to complete the stabilization. En route to Children's Hospital, the crew monitored the patient's condition and airway, suctioning the saliva as needed. A medical consult was conducted via EMRC and an IV was established. Upon arrival to Children's Hospital, care was transferred to the hospital staff. The patient was stabilized and taken for x-rays and a CT scan. The patient was also evaluated by an ENT and treated with steroids to reduce the swelling. The patient was admitted for observation and monitoring of his airway. Pediatric calls always have an extra added level of stress. Thanks to the ability of the crew of Ambulance 734 to perform a thorough assessment and recognize the potential trauma to the airway and the serious nature of the call and request the appropriate resources, the patient was discharged home after an overnight stay at Children's Hospital on September 14, 2022.